Hey guys, welcome back to The Virtuous Life starring me. Um, I lost my train of, train of thoughts or bus of thought, no, I'm joking. Um, so today's video is gonna be a second year review of civil engineering. No, a review of second year of civil engineering because I did the review of first year engineering. You can watch it here or there, wherever I put the tag in. But like this time, a second year, I'm a fully fledged university student. I've done two years and so I can tell you the knowledge I have. Okay, so if that seems like something you're interested in, then carry on watching this video. Okay, so that this video has structure to it, I'm going to do it in sections. So the first will be admins where I talk about the modules we had to take, um, how many we had to take and all of that. The next thing will be um, what course review. And the next thing will be what I liked about second year civil engineer at the University of Southampton. What I did not like about second year civil engineer at the University of Southampton. And then tips if I can think of anyone that I didn't already share. Um, so, so we can begin this video. In second years of civil engineering at the University of Southampton, you take eight modules, four semester one and four semester two, and um, the semesters are all 15 weeks long. And so like in semester one, well, the modules I uh, we had to take because you had, there was no optional module, so you had to take the modules you got given. Okay, so it was structural analysis, structural design, design and maths, okay? I'm gonna talk about semester one, then I'm gonna talk about semester two. So in semester one, we took those modules and so basically structural analysis and structural design were like two very similar um, modules but the only difference is that they're both dealing with like structures and how we can an analyze like a steel beam or like a concrete beam however like structural design dealt more with like the materials aspect and like the material, material properties and behaviors and how like certain things will happen and like how this affects the overall structure blah 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 okay and the structure analysis was more of like the maths behind that and then we had design three and design three was like a design project and we had two briefs depending if you're like on civil or civil with architecture or civil with in, um, environmental it depends on what brief you got given but like the two briefs were like either build a build a building for a tailor or a lookout so build some, a structure that you can look out in southampton and i'm civil with architecture so i did a building and yeah that was interesting and then the last one was maths and maths was a lot harder than like first year maths this was like hardcore engineering maths with like Oh, it just blew my mind, but I got the highest mark in maths. I was actually so gassed about my maths, maths grade, but like, it is what it is. And so in semester two, which was cut short because Miss Rona decided to like, oh, you know, do her thing. Anyway, semester two, we had soil mechanics, we had hydraulics, numerical method, and construction management. Soil mechanics was to do with like the geotechnics with like the soil and like, how structures behave on like different soil, like consolidated soil, a little, 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 consolidated soil, drowned soil, and then different things. We carried out like triaxial tests and odometer tests, which were two very interesting like soil mechanics um, labs. And um, with hydraulics, it was more to do with like obviously water, like flow through a pipe, flow through an open channel. We had a hydraulics what's that thing called? A lab, which is like, we got to see um, water flow through a venturi. <laughs> Listen, I'm not pronouncing the words right, so I'm not even gonna talk about it, but hydraulics was fun. And then with construction management, construction management, every week we had, well, they tried to, because like we all, most of the time the lectures were canceled, but when it wasn't canceled, every week someone from the industry would come down and give, present like a lecture. So construction management was really about like putting the, theory into practical. So it was more about the practical side of things and like how you'd work on the construction side, the different um, ways of dealing with people, um, how the different structures, so like there's project manager, then people below that, then people below that. And we're doing it like with contractors, subcontractors, contracts, bidding, tenders, all of that. So you got to know like the behind the scenes of how engineering works. That was interesting. And then the last but not least was numerical methods. And numerical methods is one of these modules where it was really just like punching numbers into a calculator and a lot of comp computation. But like we were doing it ourselves and you knew like the computers can do it. So like you're thinking, why do I need to know this? But like, it is what it is. But what I liked about numerical methods was the coursework behind that. We got to learn Abacus, which is like a, 
I find that element analysis software, so you draw, like you draw a steel beam with a C cross section or I cross section, depending on which one you want to do. And then we apply the 50 millimeter displacement load. And then we looked at the stress strain. Um, we looked at the stress actually, and then the reaction forces at the free end and the fixed end. And it was, I found that very interesting. It probably sounds boring speaking to you guys about it, but it was actually very interesting. And I also got to learn about MATLAB. The reason why I liked this way, the way they did it this year compared to last year, we did Python last year. And I think we also did another um, computer software coding thing, but I just can't remember. But this year I could say that I do have enough knowledge on MATLAB to actually do my own coding. But like, I can't even tell you one thing about Python that we learned last year. And even with Abacus, the man, the lecturer, the person who was doing, even though he came on like with brute force, like, like put your phones away. I was like, whoa. But because it did that and I did actually put my phone away, I listened more and I actually understood what he was talking about. And like, I kind of like doing it. Don't hold me, like, don't think I'm some kind of coding nerd. Like I can do the bare, the basic minimum, but that's enough. And so I'm not gonna tell you things I like, but I want to talk a bit more about like, so semester one's 15 weeks, semester two is 15 weeks, they're both equal. However, if you go to uni, I feel like most people would agree that semester one just feels like a lot longer than semester two. I don't know, maybe it's because like, I don't actually have a reason, but maybe because like Southampton, we have a month break between like semester two for Easter holidays. But like with semester one, I feel like it's way more jam packed. It's just, I take way more information in. Um, it just feels so much longer. And I just, I can't describe it. It's just like, yeah. And so like, um, certain modules in semester two of second year are way more important than semester one. Like hydraulics and soil mechanics are two of the most important modules in this year, because you, you, you need it for next year, because you have like advanced soil mechanics and advanced hydraulics in third year. And so like, I wish we learned that in first semester, because I definitely tell you, I would have finished, I would have finished that module better than me trying to like complete it, complete it now with like all the stress and the COVID and even like taking away COVID and stress is like still semester two modules are just never the same as semester one. They just feel like dragged on because you know that it should, you, you know that the end is close, but you're still not finished yet. If like that doesn't make sense. Anyways, I'm waffling. So the things I did like about second year, um, the modules, my favorite modules in particular would be even though I said, I probably say maths, even though maths was really hard, but it was my highest grade. And I, looking back at it, in hindsight, I did like it, to be fair. I was just complaining loads, but I did like it. Um, I liked structural analysis. That was interesting. I also liked um, hydraulics and soil mechanics are great. I like the labs. The labs, because the lab, when you have labs and you write your report, it really just consolidates everything you're learning in lectures. You be hearing them rambling on and on and on and on and on about things. And then only when you do your lab, like two or three weeks later, be like, oh, that's the thing you said that, ah, oh, once you make sense now. And that's why I like, <laughs> that's why I love labs and we should have way more labs, but we only had like, we had more, all our labs were in second semester. I think we barely had any labs in first semester besides one or two. Um, and then hydraulics was interesting because I just like hydraulics, like, the things I did not like about um, second year civil engineering, I think, hmm, I would say, see the thing is I can't really say things I don't like about the actual module itself or like the degree. It's more about the things, the way Southampton did it. Like, it's more like, like say my maths lecturer, I felt like he could have gone a little bit slower, make sure that we're making um, understanding it, but that's not really having anything to do with the degree. That's just how the person taught the, um, the what's called the lecture. But I could say for, especially for Southampton, that they should put soil mechanics and hydraulics in second semester, in first semester, and then move design three, design two to second semester. Oh, and also say, because structure analysis and structure design were almost the same thing, I told you one dealt with more materials than the other, they should just spread them across. Why would you put them in the same semester? It was just like, we learned this with this guy last week, and why are we repeating it again with this guy? That was the only thing that was like, come on now. Um, but like, besides it, that was like the only thing. I actually thoroughly liked second year, even though it was cut short, it was just way more fun than first year. You're more secured in yourself because like, first year was your time to like find out what sports you like, the societies you like, the friendship group you liked. 
um, what part of aspects of your degree you're strong in, what aspects of your degree you're weak in. And then I found like, once I figured that in first year, second year was just all about me living my best life, basically. I had way more fun, I went out more, I had more friendship groups. Um, my degree was, the, like learning actual engineering stuff was fun, because first year I told you it was just like, basic knowledge but like second year it's f hardcore like civil engineering on crack with a bit of steroids like is that full on this is engineering and this one is and i think it's because you know that you're going to do your individual project in third year so you need all the necessary like knowledge or the right foundation so you can build upon that in third year with your research and the, or like all the like advanced hydraulics advanced soil mechanics all of that so that was another thing and then second um i don't know second is like a cushy year like it does count to your final grade but it's only 20 percent. so there's leeway for you to relax but like also push as much as you can because obviously like get a first first year get a first second year get a first third year and then graduate with a first class degree but yeah that's basically it thank you so much for watching this video i hope like this review of second year civil engineering at the university of southampton was interesting and if you want any more reviews well queuing for the next year for third year i'm actually kind of excited for third year but anyways thank you guys love you